Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing Virtua Fighter 2. Now, like I said, this was my most played game as a kid back in the day in the arcades. And I've actually got a couple of funny stories <laughs> about that. Some GSTAR321 memories, if you will. The first memory I have is Look, back then I was really, really young, you know, I was just a kid and my grandmother used to take me to the arcades quite a lot. And whenever I'd go to the arcades with her, there always seemed to be bigger kids there, older kids, so to speak, playing on the arcades. And there was always groups of them huddled around a specific arcade cabinet, you know, like a Tekken cabinet or something. But if the Virtua Fighter 2 cabinet was free, and we went in there, you know, me and my grandmother, bang, I'd go straight over to it, I'd run to it, start putting coins in, and I'd play. And it was great because other kids would sort of come over from time to time, and they'd just watch me, that was fine, but then when I'd die, for example, and I had to continue, you know, put another coin in, they'd be like, oh, can I have a go now? You just died. And because my grandmother was there, she used to shoo them away for me. <laughs> You know, she'd say, go away, leave him alone. <laughs> it was fantastic. Because, in effect, I had the whole Virtua Fighter 2 cabinet to myself. <laughs> it was so good, you know. And other kids would come over and they'd say, do you want to verse me? I just wasn't interested. I just wanted to stand there, enjoy Virtua Fighter 2 for myself. I wanted to soak it all in and just have fun playing it, you know. And my grandmother was really good. <laughs> at allowing me to do that, you know, she was really protective of me. Another story from back in the day, this was around the same time, probably I was around the same age. I had a birthday party and me and my friends from school, we went to a major arcade, it was called Tilt here in Australia. I don't know if there's any more tilts left in the world or let alone Australia. They seem to be sort of going out of fashion nowadays with all of the uh, online gaming taking place. But yeah, back then we went to that arcade and, you know, they had rooms where kids could have parties. So we went to a big room there and it was just a, you know, it was just a room and it had a big table and lots of chairs. So we all sat around there and, you know, it was my birthday. So they were giving me presents and so on. So just keep in mind at this point, we hadn't actually started playing on the arcades. We just went to the arcade, straight into that room. So in my mind, I was sort of annoyed because I just wanted to play video games. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there they were giving me all these presents and everything, and I wasn't opening them. And they're all like, well, are you gonna open it? And I just sort of, you know, shook my head, no. And they're like, why? And <laughs> this is what I said, because I was a kid and, you know, I was honest, I said, I just want to get into playing the games. <laughs> I can't remember what the reaction was, but I'm pretty sure the parents there would have laughed. But yeah, that's what I said. I didn't open any of the presents, and we just had some McDonald's after that, you know, some game of fuel, so to speak. And then after that, someone came into the room and gave each and every one of us a small glad wrap bag. Inside it was $21 coins. So each of us had $20 to spend playing video games in that arcade. And it was usually about $1 per game, okay? So it was $1 coins. Instantly, I went to the Virtua Fighter 2 arcade cabinet. Straight away, without hesitation, ran there, started playing it. Coin after coin after coin. Look, this is a really fucking hard game. All right, it's an arcade fighting game. It's fucking atrocious in terms of its difficulty. But back then, I was, you know, I was just a kid. I didn't really have any concept of AI or, you know, the computer registering your inputs and so on. But needless to say, I would die relatively quickly after putting that one dollar coin in. And you know, I'd just chew through the $1 coins like crazy. And after like 10 to 15 minutes, I was down $18. I only had $2 left. And I thought to myself, oh, I better play something else, I guess. You know, it's only been 10, 15 minutes. So I just went over to like a Mortal Kombat game, Mortal Kombat 2, 
Or I think Mortal Kombat 3 might have been out by then, I'm not sure. Anyway, one of the Mortal Kombat games. And that, that was it. I spent the last two dollars on a Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet. And then I was like, oh, okay. And I just walked over to some of my friends. They were playing different games. And they were like, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I've got no coins left. And they were like, what? You know, they were only on their third or fourth dollar. <laughs> because they were going around the whole arcade place. You know, they were playing stuff like air hockey and... You know those games where you throw the balls and the hoops and you win prizes and all that sort of stuff? I didn't give a fuck about any of that shit. I just wanted to play video games, true video games, especially the fighting ones. Especially this one, Virtua Fighter 2. <laughs> so, you know, they sort of started feeling a bit sorry for me and especially some of the parents that were there, you know, the other kids' parents, they'd come over and give me some $1 coins. They'd say, here, do you want some extra dollars? And I just sort of felt bad, you know, I said, oh, nah, it's it's all right, don't worry about it, but they sort of forced it upon me and, and gave me some coins, you know. I just felt guilty because, you know, I just wasted all the coins within like 15, 20 minutes, you know, mostly just playing Virtua Fighter 2. So I did feel a bit guilty about taking their coins, but hey, it was my birthday, I guess. <laughs> I was the birthday boy. <laughs> What I say goes, right? <laughs> but nah, I didn't have that attitude. I was quite humble as a kid. But yeah, um, yeah, that was just some funny stories, guys. Because this game, you know, this game really brings out a lot of memories of my childhood. It really does, you know. It's just such a... It's an important game to me. It really is. But look, I think I've spoken enough. Let's get straight into it. This is a very hard game, guys. It's fucking impossible. Look, I started playing it a few days ago just to get the hang of it again and up until yesterday I had never finished this game before. I can, you know, I could only get up to like the fourth or fifth fight and then I just couldn't progress any further. I've got it for the Xbox 360, you know, Xbox Live Arcade and that's what I was sort of playing it on the past few days. Um, just to get the feel of things again, practice a bit, and I did manage to get up to the seventh stage, the seventh fight, which is actually against the ninja, Cage or Kage, however you pronounce his name. And look, no joke, I am not fucking joking here, I spent one hour and a half trying to beat him. I'm not kidding guys, I sat there for one and a half hours straight trying to beat Cage, Kage. I couldn't do it. I was, I, you know, the AI just, it just counted everything. Everything. I was, I was blown away because even with like Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade, you can sort of win with enough patience and persistence. You know what I mean? But, my God, this was just absolutely fucking unrelenting. I couldn't, I could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. I, I shut the game off. I, I was sort of, really annoyed with myself because I hate to give up on hard games, you know what I mean? And look, I am, I'm no stranger to hard games. I've played Ninja Gaiden 2 on the Xbox 360 on Master Ninja difficulty and finished it. Now that, that's probably got to be one of the hardest games I've ever played. So, you know, like I said, I'm no stranger to hard games and I usually have a lot of patience and persistence, but it just broke me. I, I could not do it. And I went straight to YouTube and I was looking up some videos of how other people fought. And then I started seeing a pattern. I started seeing that they were all exploiting the AI to some degree. And I thought, okay, here we go again. This is what you got to do. <laughs> you know, if you've seen my Mortal Kombat trilogy playthrough with Rain, the second playthrough I do of that game where I just spam the same moves over and over again to win. That's pretty much what you've got to do here, guys. You know what, I, I, for someone watching, okay, I dare you to play this game like I am now, okay, very hard and champion ladder, and get through an endurance round with three characters playing normally, okay? I want to see someone do that. So, it's gonna be somewhat of a rather stale playthrough. Look, it won't be that bad for the first few fights, but pretty much from fight number five, maybe four, four or five onwards, 
you're going to see me doing a lot of throws, okay? But I'll talk about that once we get into it. So, without further ado, let's start it up. So Shundi, I really used to like playing as him back in the day as a kid because he was like the drunken... Look at him. He always takes a drink of his wine when he wins. It's classic. I like the drunken characters. Lei from Tekken was awesome. <laughs> like, look at this move. You see this move in a lot of Kung Fu movies where they just kick and fall down. <laughs> and this, he can go like on his hands and do stupid little kicks. He's just a, a funny character. I think he is somewhat rather difficult to play as because he's not as effective. Oh, jeez. I don't know, I just think other characters are a bit stronger than him, but... <laughs> Moon jump to the back kick there. I love that. What? <laughs> oh, I love this game. So like I said, for the first few fights, I'm just going to be having a bit of fun here with the AI because it's relatively easy but after that I'm just gonna have to start doing a lot of throws more specifically that throw okay because you'll notice after he does it watch it again see how he takes a drink of his wine that's the key thing here with Shundi alright drinking his wine there's actually oh yeah <laughs> Oh, it's classic. Are you? Are you? Ah, shit! I died. God damn. Okay, this is when the game starts getting real bullshit. Okay, when it doesn't matter what you do, you just get fucked over. So, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be back dashing a lot like that. Getting in close and doing a throw. Rinse and repeat. Okay, like that. Now this is one important thing in regards to the arcade version that I'm playing here today. Because this is version 2.0 of the game. If you play version 2.1, the back dashes, look at this, see how fast it is? In version 2.1, the back dashes have been scaled down significantly and it's a lot slower to do them. So this is one of the reasons why I'm playing the true arcade version here, version 2.0. So I can backdash really, really fast. Fuck. Fuck! Okay, if you mistime it, even by a fucking nanosecond, he gets in, it's bullshit, and it's pretty much the whole fight over. Okay, unless you can start again. Fuck! He's so strong, Jeffrey. It's ridiculous. He always tries to throw you. Very dangerous. Okay, let me just focus. Fuck! Look at the damage on that. Yeah, he missed. Suck shit. Okay, come on, Shun. You can do it. Oh shit, he should have thrown me there. Wee Fuck, Jackie's a bit strong here. He always does. He always seems to do really. Fuck! Okay, gotta get out. Get away. Don't wanna get. ring out. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, Jackie's been a bit. Problematic here. Fuck, he's. Okay, hang on. This is exploiting the AI in full force. There's no other way to do this. Trust me, I spent an hour and a half the other day trying to beat Cage, and you know, that took me an hour alone just to get up to him. Because the fights before that were really fucked. Just bullshit, you know? Okay, there we go. Done. If I can say one thing in regards to defeating this game with Shundi, it's Aya, Which in Cantonese, I believe, means, oh my god. But, I'm not sure if he's from Hong Kong or China. Fuck! Okay. 
Yeah, fucked it up. But you just press forward punch to do that really fast three hit combo. And Wolf seems to be vulnerable to that. As long as you keep it up and don't fuck up. God, that's such a dangerous move because not only does it do heaps of damage, but you get sent flying. Fuck! I'm probably dead. No, no, I'm still alive. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I'm done. Gonna have to use a continue, that's fine. Come on, fucking piss off! Yeah, take that. Fuck! You've really got to get it going from the beginning, otherwise... It just seems to fuck you over. Aya! 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 It's probably saying hoya, not aya. Now this is the final boss fight against Jural. This is actually a chick. Same strategy. However, you're fighting in slow motion because you're underwater. So, I don't know, Shun-D must be able to breathe underwater, I'm not sure. Okay, that's bad if she gets gets in. Yeah. Get up! The fuck up, it's so slow. The thing is, for this... Fuck! For this fight, you've only got one chance to defeat her. You cannot continue. Jesus Christ, okay. If you die, the game ends regardless and you get the ending, okay? God, dangerous. <sighs> oh man, it's so slow. Look, look at the damage! Look at the damage! <laughs> In one move, she's effectively... Oh no. Yeah, okay. Fuck off, whatever. I lost. I don't care. Well, I'm sort of angry that I didn't defeat her. But... It's the same strategy, guys. Sometimes you just get unlucky, you know what I mean? Whatever. You only get one shot at it. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's Virtua Fighter 2. The arcade version. Now, before I go ahead and start up this playthrough, I just want to mention one thing, alright? This game has got to have one of the most comprehensive training modes I have ever seen in any fighting game ever. I was playing this the other day, the training mode that is, and do you want to know how long it took me to finish it? Three hours. I'm not fucking joking. Three hours, give or take. It was unbelievable. You know, by the two hour mark, the two and a half hour mark, I was slumped in my chair, I was drinking water and like spilling it on myself, I was just tired, I was exhausted, because what happens is, it goes through every possible scenario that can happen and tells you how to deal with it. So for example, you know, it will say, okay, the CPU here is about to kick you. Lesson one, you can duck the kick. And then you've got to go ahead and duck it to prove that you can do that, you know. And then lesson two, okay, instead of ducking the kick, you can do a quick jab to stop the CPU in their tracks. And you have to do that to prove you can do it. Okay, instead of ducking and punching, you know, you can evade and throw, and it's just, it's too much. It is too much. By the time I started playing the game, I was analyzing every single possible thing the AI was doing to me, and I couldn't even move because I was just overthinking everything. I was overthinking to the point of inaction. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was ridiculous. So look, the training mode is great but I feel it's just too much you know you've just got to play the game play against the AI and that is how you will really learn how to play this game so enough talk let's get straight into it guys come on Look at this move. <laughs> Hang on, I'll do it again. I love this move. 
Look at that! <laughs> How he goes on his head. It's classic. Ow! And this is Jeffrey's stage. Damn. He's a big guy, isn't he? Wouldn't want to mess with someone like that in real life, that's for sure. Unless I was a Shaolin monk like Lei Fei. <laughs> Gotta get a throw. Come on. Fuck! Oh, I still beat her anyway. For fuck's sake, just do it! My god, I'm trying to. God damn it. Okay, he's got me right on the fuck! I knew it! Bastard, so I just lost a match there. Fuck! Alright, he gets really aggressive on the second round for some reason. Gotcha. Okay, so here's Aoi, if that's how you pronounce her name. Damn, she's got me towards the edge of the ring already. Got to do something to get out of this situation. God damn. There we go. God damn. Fuck! <laughs> I knew it! As soon as I input the throw command, the AI punched me. I hate that. Okay. Jesus. Fuck! I just needed a throw, and that would have done it. Okay, I've just got to get her, get her in that combo. Fuck yeah, she gets in. That's the thing. You, once you can get it flowing, it's good. But see, if she gains the upper hand. It's almost game over. Fuck! That's no good. Fuck! really hard when that AI pressures you towards the edge of the ring, you know, and I mean I would sidestep but there's just not enough time and oh man, it's just... Yeah, that was a bit disappointing. I lost to Jural again. Fuck that. I lost to her in Virtua Fighter 2, but <laughs> you know, I played this game about, prior to doing this run through, I played it through about eight times or so and seven times out of those eight I defeated her. It's so annoying when I do the actual recording that I lose, you know what I mean? But it's it's just sort of hard to focus and talk at the same time. I know I always say that, but it's true. But anyway, guys, that's Virtua Fighter 4. To newcomers to the Virtua Fighter franchise, look, they're going to find it difficult to get into because this is a hard fighting game. You know, not only Virtua Fighter 5, but pretty much all of them. But more specifically here, Virtua Fighter 5 is a very difficult fighting game to play. When I first started playing it a few days ago, I was really put off by the difficulty, you know, especially when you go through arcade mode, even on normal difficulty. It's extremely hard, you know, the AI is just fucking unrelenting. But trust me guys, believe me when I say this, if you stick with it and learn how to play it, you learn the ins and outs of the fighting system and get good at it, this is an extremely rewarding fighting game to play. It's very satisfying, you know, you're just going to have to trust me on that. But yeah, to newcomers, it probably will put them off and they might find it easier to get into one of the other fighting game franchises. So my recommendation, if you're finding it hard to get into this game, or any Virtua Fighter game for that matter is to just keep at it because trust me it's really worth it this is a great game guys now enough of that let's get straight into it here i'm going to be doing an arcade playthrough go 
really freaks me out. I mean, look at him. His skin is really pale. He looks like a vampire. What a freak. And he uses judo for his fighting style. But let's go. El Blaze. <laughs> yeah, that's look, that's one downside to El Blaze. It's his abysmal voice acting. It's atrocious. Whoops. <laughs> Layface kicking my ass here. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to sh this okay, what am I gonna do? Layface, just please stop for one second. Okay, I'm just going to have to kill him. Fuck! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry guys. Look, let me just focus and kill him. Maybe I'm doing this on purpose because I love this stage. <laughs> and I just want to keep playing on it. And listening to this awesome music. I'm dragging it out. Okay, I'll kill him now. Straight up. No bullshit. Come on, they're really blocking a hell of a lot now. You'd better take me seriously. Fight <laughs> How can I with a voice like that? What a fucking disgrace. <laughs> There's no way I'm taking you seriously. Okay, wait. Probably won't. Alright, yeah! Oh, it's just terrible. Ill Blaze's voice acting. Alright, <laughs> yeah! Take that, Lau. He's starting to piss me off now with his blocking bullshit. Ooh, see how he ducked that? I'm so nervous. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you, Lau. Christ, he's blocking. Like, no fucking tomorrow. Okay. Let's try that again. I've actually gotten through this game a few times without using a single continue, but trust me, that is extremely fucking difficult to do unless you are 100% focused, you know, and that is very hard to do while commentating at the same time, so I will be dying here. Look at the damage. Let's do a drop kick. Fuck. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Fucking hell. Okay, I'm just getting really impatient, you know. You need a lot of patience for this game. Christ! And if you think Lau is bad here, man, wait till you get to Akira. The final guy. Well, the second final guy. It's always Dural you face as the final character, but man, Akira is absolutely disgusting. Oh, that ducking! Fucking hell, all I'm trying to do is throw this son of a bitch and you see how... God, that is so, so frustrating how they just constantly duck it. I hate it. Look at that! Okay. That's why you gotta... I'm running away from you, Akira. I hate you. <laughs> Fuck. Heavyweights are nothing to me. Yeah, that's it. You tell him, El Blaze. Absolutely abhorrent voice acting for that character. It's not game breaking, but it's just it's just bad, you know, it's laughable. And yeah, there you have it guys, that is Virtue Fighter 5. So here's the character select screen. I'll be using this guy here, Go Hinogami. His fighting style is judo. I love this character. He first made his debut in Virtue Fighter 4 Evolution. And just look at him, he looks like a badass. He looks like a, when I first saw him, I thought this guy was a vampire or something. You know, he's so pale, he's got scars all over his face. He just looks strange, but Go really freaks me out. I mean, look at him, his skin is really pale. He looks like a vampire. 
What a freak. And he uses judo for his fighting style. Don't be fooled, he's a fucking beast, this guy. He's a mean fighting machine. And if you actually read a bit about him, his story, he's actually an assassin. And I'm not sure what his mission is, but he's been sent here to this tournament to kill someone or kill everyone. I don't know, but yeah, you can read up on that. Shundi, Brad, Lion, who fucking sucks. I hate this guy. Mainly because of his voice. That's really the only reason I hate this guy. It just pisses me off. Oh, that's right. Also, if you plan on downloading this for the PS3, I think there's actually two versions to download. One contains all of the costume packs for every character, while the other one doesn't. So this version I have here, let me just get back out. It doesn't have... I'm a bit pissed off because I, I bought the version that doesn't have the costume packs for everyone. So they've only got like a default costume and if you hold start you can select their alternate costume. However, if you download the Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown game that has all the costume packs included, you can then go, like from the main menu, you can customize your character, you know, make them put a fucking wig on them or whatever you want, you know. So if you press square, as you can see I've created quite a number of costumes here for Go, but I actually purchased the costume pack for Go separately. And you know what? It's pretty fucking expensive. It was like seven bucks. It's a disgrace, you know? It's fucking bullshit. So my advice to you guys is purchase the Virtue Fighter 5 Final Showdown game that contains all the costume packs for every character. That way you won't have to purchase them individually, which is too costly. It costs too much. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say, if I lose on this first fight... Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Shundi's stage music is the worst. And I believe we'll fight him next. The music is totally inappropriate for that stage. You know, it should be classic, classical Chinese music, but it's just... I don't know, it's just fucked. Yeah, so listen to this music. Do you think this is appropriate for this stage? Compared to previous iterations? I don't think so. Fuck! God damn it, man. God, yes. So it's still easy. Don't worry. But now, we're going to be fighting Lau, who I actually hate fighting this character. He's extremely fast and aggressive. He's fucked. You've just got to like, you have to go even more aggressive on him to beat him. I hate Lau so much. He's almost as bad as fighting Akira. Absolutely terrible. Ah! Get up! Mm, damn it. Jesus Christ. Fuck! My... That's alright. Nah, it's okay. I've never lost on AoE before, but this could be the first time. Ooh, almost got you. Bullshit. Just let me fucking throw you! Okay. Not gonna let me throw you? I'm just gonna do that then. Fine. God, it doesn't matter either way. You're still gonna die. Stop resisting it. Fucking bullshit. The sidestepping is pissing me off. Take it. Grabbed it for the side throw. Take that, Aoi. Crouching jab. Oh. Get him! Oh, I thought that would kill. Oh, God, yes. 
Okay. Fuck! Sidestepping like crazy. Look, I'm trying to do some stuff here, that's why I'm... I mean, of course, if I can just keep doing the same combos, I'll beat him, but I just want to do some... ...different stuff, but whatever. Looks like I'll have to just do this, that's fine. <laughs> yes! Reversed that throne, did one on my own. Big kick for the win. Oh, God. Crouching jab. Fuck! Killed? No? Oh, yeah, he killed me. Whatever. Do it again, that's fine. Let's go. Oh! The hell? Oh, God. I'm actually hitting him with that. I'm not expecting it. That's why I'm not following up with the combo. God. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to kill him now. I've had it. You can't really fuck around on Akira, so... Yep. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye. What the hell? What the fuck? I God, I was doing a crouch throw. What the... Crouching jab for the win. There we go. Three in a row. Good. I'll take it. One, two, three. Get the hell out of here. Okay, that does so much damage, it's not funny. Oh, God, alright. I'm holding my breath here. Oh god, I couldn't breathe. Okay. Last round. Can I do it? God, that was... What the hell was I thinking? Doing that. Sometimes she just goes so aggressive on you, you just... You simply can't do anything. You know, it's just... I mean, look at that. Sidestepping. Okay. Got the knockdown. Oh! I just, I felt like I had it. I felt like I had it. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's my playthrough of Virtua Fighter 5 final showdown. Aoi? 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 I always can't... Aoi, is that how you pronounce it? I just got no idea how to say this character's name.